Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you something very special. It's the only video on YouTube that shows you how to custom firmware the iOS M10. It took me like two weeks to find out how to do it. I'm going to show you how to take time lapses, how to make a time lapse, and I'm going to also show you some apps that allow you to do this, but those costs. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to custom firmware your device. Back in the day, you, we used to have a um, magic lantern. Magic lantern had this nice feature called intervalometer, which allowed you to take a picture, let's say every five seconds. You had like 100 pictures that you put together in Premiere Pro and you could make a time lapse. Now we can do the same thing on the iOS M10 and I'm gonna show you how in a second. Okay guys, so the first option I saw was this pretty basic and simple way so basically you have to stick uh, a piece of rubber on top of the shutter with some tape and it's gonna press the shutter like crazy and it's gonna give you some pictures that you can turn up into a time lapse it's not a very great idea but it's it's a start then I found out about this app on iOS for the pro version it costs like nine dollars and it has uh, an intervalometer built in. If you're on Android, you have uh, this great app called DSLR controller, which you can connect to your camera with um, USB cable or Wi Fi. By the way, Cascable, I think, is only Wi Fi. And it has a time lapse uh, capture mode, which supports HDR apparently. You also have DSLR remote control. All of those options cost like nine to ten dollars. Uh, DSLR remote has a time lapse option as well. It can connect over Wi-Fi and a USB with an OTG cable. But the free way to do it is uh, you go on Google. You you type EOS M10 CHDK. Click on the first link. Go to the download page. You're gonna scroll down till you find the downstable version. Don't worry, it's not gonna mess up your camera, but if it does, it's not my fault. Uh, you're gonna search for M10. It says power shot, but it's actually the EOS M10. You're gonna find the 1.10 version D. Click on it, download it. Now, on your camera, you just have to format your card. And you either plug it to your computer via a, a card reader, or you connect your camera via USB. You're gonna extract the contents of this uh, this um, archive to your card like this. Now you should find those files at the root of your SD card, and you'll have to eject your SD card. And I'm gonna show you on the camera what you have to do next. So I reinserted my, my card in the the US M10. I'm going to start it up. Now you have to be in the picture mode in the manual. You're going to press menu. You're going to go to the fourth option here. Go to firmware version. Click on camera. Click OK. Select that file. Click OK. And this is going to start the custom firmware. Now when you press the play button it's gonna bring up this menu I, I press the middle button here to activate it and I'm gonna middle press to load script from file I'm gonna scroll down with the d-pad till I see interval point Lua I'm gonna press on the Q button the middle one to select it and now you basically have the interval you can select so let's say I want to take a picture each three seconds. I'm going to go back. And now when I take a picture, wait, I'm going to focus it like that. If you want to get rid of this menu, oops, I'm going to press the play button again. It's going to get rid of the menu. And now when you press the shutter, it's going to say here started. And it's taking a picture every two seconds, as you can see. So this allows you to make uh, great time lapses because you have manual control over the settings. And 
this is gonna give you a raw file that you can later edit in Lightroom and get the look you want. This is a very powerful feature that you used to have on Magic Lantern with the old bodies. Um, I wanna say that this custom firmware, I don't know if it's safe because it's in pre-alpha. For me it works quite well. I'm gonna stop it now because it's kind of annoying. Okay, so if you, if you wanna stop it, just gonna press the, um, the play button. Uh, if you want to access the pictures, you have to long press the um, the play button and you're going to access your pictures. Um, if you have any questions, the, the wiki I found this uh, hack on is quite, quite good. It has all the information you need. If you're a programmer, please take a look uh, at the, the Lua files and try to improve it because the CHDK community is quite small and there are not that many functions at in Magic Lantern. So if, if you can help the community, that would be really nice because Canon releases cameras like this that, that are quite good. The sensor is good, the lenses are good, but it lacks in, in, in a lot of features. So if you can help the community, that would be great. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put together the pictures you took to make a time-lapse, uh, a video from the pictures. So I'm going to show you how to create a time-lapse from the pictures you have took. So you're going to click on import. So let's say you took a bunch of raw files, you edited them in Lightroom and you will place them in a folder. I'm going to click on the first one, click uh, here to have this option checked, image sequence. Click on the first one, click open. It's going to create a sequence that I'm going to modify. going to make it 24 frames per second and I'm just going to drag it here. And voila, we have a time lapse. You can export it f for at 4K for example. Let's see, media, you can go here, preset and choose YouTube 4K and we can export it and upload it to YouTube now. So I hope this video was useful in some way. I hope some more people find out about uh, CHDK because this project is amazing. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please consider giving it up a thumbs up and some more content is going to be uploaded soon. Thank you.